my lovely people. It is the end of February, so that means February favourites time. Quite a mixture of day, food, TV, makeup, random things in general. It is such a horrible day. There's a bit of fluff. It is such a horrible day today. The rain is pouring and I am freezing cold. I can't feel my toes. I am just going to get straight on with it and show you everything that I have been loving throughout February. And yes, let's go. I'm going to start with makeup. I went to London yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. And this is the kind of the base makeup that I wore and I was so impressed with it. I've worn it throughout the month anyway to work and things like that. But when you're inside, you can't really get a judge of how good makeup is. So I wore it to London yesterday and I was so impressed. The mascara stayed put all day. No smudging, it didn't drop down my face at all. My foundation stayed. I was so, so impressed. And being in London, you know how busy it is and hectic and how hot you get in, in um, the underground. And then it was really windy and I was just gobsmacked by how well it stayed so I thought I would pop it in here I'll start with the base and it's a little sample thing and it's the Rimmel BB cream this is like a tiny little sample I got this in a beauty box surprise surprise I haven't really ever used it but I started to use it in February and I love the finish that it gives it gives a matte finish which you all know I adore but it lasts all day it says it's a nine-in-one um, skin perfecting super makeup and it definitely is a super makeup. I'm so impressed with this. I need to get my hands on a full size. I've still got loads of this left. You really don't need a lot either when you pop it on your face. It does give a really light coverage, but that's all I need. I don't like heavy coverage, as you know. And I am just so impressed with this. And I've been applying it with the um, Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques, which you all know I love as well. Then on my eyes, something that I've been really loving this month, eyeliner on my tight line. You all know that I'm not really an eyeliner person. I don't like how it looks on me. It just just makes me look a bit squinty um, but I really like the dark dramatic eye look and the way that I found I was able to do it this month was putting black eyeliner on my tight line and the one that I've been using is Jelly Pong Pong again from a beauty box this is a two-in-one eyeliner and shadow but I've literally just been putting it on my tight line and then using my mascara as normal this eyeliner does not budge it stays exactly where it is every time I try to do it with other ones it kind of ends up on my waterline and it's really annoying and I have to rub it off throughout the day this does not this is a dream I love this so so much and wow I've got it on stair I don't know if you can tell any difference or not um, but yes if you have small eyes like me and you want a bit more of a dramatic eye black eyeliner or brown eyeliner on your tight line is the way to go mascara this is going to be no surprise to you at all but I have been adoring benefits real lash this does not budge from your eyelashes it holds your lashes in a curl all day it gives beautiful beautiful spider lashes on on me and I just love the effect that it gives my lashes are quite long anyway and this really really enhances that and with the black eyeliner on the tight line I adore the look that it gives it is on today don't know if you can tell really need to get my hands on the full size of this when I can well done benefit I am in love with this something a bit random we're going on to food I've been obsessed with some bites this month I'm not really a crisp person I don't know why I just don't really go for crisps but these taste so good my favorite ones have been sweet chili and um, sour cream and black pepper I love them they taste so good they're really really moorish you, you always want more afterwards but I think that I think they're actually better for you than like a normal crisp bear with I'll have a look 30% less fat for a good alternative to like your classic Walker's crisps go for Sunbite they taste so good hair this month I have been obsessed with half up half down with my hair being quite thin I've actually found this makes it look thicker and it makes it look so much longer as well when you've got like the shorter layers up and through your head and all you can see is the long longer layers underneath I love how it looks it's so easy to do and it's just really practical as well because when your hair's in your face it drives me nuts so you pull that out but then you've still got your hair down yeah stating the obvious right there but yes I love half up half down this month being obsessed with it I've pretty much worn it every time my hair has been down I think yeah, every time. <laughs> and then one that I think every single YouTuber has mentioned over the last couple of months, I have literally been addicted to Pretty Little Liars. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> uh, I started watching it on my week off beginning... Beginning? No. The beginning of January. And then throughout then, I have literally watched it non-stop. 
I'll just end, I'll just got to the end of what is on season 5 on Netflix. As you know, it's like I've got one more to watch, or yesterday's to watch. Um, but yeah, because I've been watching it like back to back, I'm now not coping very well with the fact I have to wait 7 days to watch the next, next episode. But I think I'll have to get used to that, but yes, Pretty Little Liars. And then one last thing just to throw in there, yesterday when I was in London, I went to see Cats with one of my friends. It has to be in a monthly favourites, because seeing a West End show has to be one of the biggest highlights of a month, right? Just one thing, if you've seen Cat's musical recently, what, you, what were your thoughts to the modifications? That's all I'm going to say, because if you're going to go see it, I don't want to give it away, but what were your thoughts? Mm. There you go, they're my February favourites. Thumbs up to my March favourites being sunny weather because this is horrible right now. <laughs> don't know if you can even hear the rain, but it is literally, it is pouring down. Don't forget all my social media links are down below, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Go and follow me there and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.